what's up guys, ACO Official back with a real versus fake for you. This time I've got the Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater. All right, so the authentic came from Farfetch, shout out them guys. Um, I told you before, that's a sick place to go to get all your legit stuff from. Uh, the replica, um, as you can see here, was someone was selling this one as real. I haven't even opened it yet, so I don't actually know if it is real or not. I've just called it fake because the price they were selling it at, I think it was 35 pounds off the top of my head. And I've just looked at this here and it's saying, the barcode saying 115. And this, the guy that was selling them was selling loads of them, which again, is one of the things I tell you to look out for. If someone is selling a product so much lower than the retail price and they've just got loads of them, like it doesn't make sense. I think he, the guy was talking about something like, oh, they're factory seconds, so they have defects, that's why they're cheap. That excuse is just literally a bunch of crap. They will say, a lot of people say that it's not true. But anyway, we're gonna compare them and we'll find out for real whether it is actually fake or not. So the first thing, yeah, packaging, this one just in the box. This one came with the Ralph Lauren on the bag. Um, I don't know if authentic Ralph Lauren came that's where it's come with that or what because this is the first one I'm reviewing but yeah I just thought I'd show you how that came I'm going to take them both out and just we'll just get straight into the actual jumper all right so um, I just had a quick look at the labels so I think I was right this one is a fake one like look at Ralph Lauren it's just together the words are just stuck together like it's one word um, it looks a bit dumb look at the stitching as well it's not the best there's the real one there look at the difference in quality like the first of all they're a different color secondly look at the words ralph lauren on this one here they're just stuck together on this one you've actually got a space as it should be um the tag is put in in the correct way in both of them but again this one like the alignment is just a shambles and yeah what i was going to say was although this guy did say this this one is a factory second i just don't buy that like why would someone just be selling factory seconds there's not it's not even like there's one seller there's loads of them so i don't believe they're all selling i don't believe any of them are doing that they just say that and people fall for it um you won't be able to tell this unless you have them both, but I think this one's the size of the horse. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me in the comments, but um, on these cable knit sweaters, I've only ever seen them with the small horse. Um, this is, I think this is actually meant to be a small horse on the replica, but it just too, it's just too big. As you can see, it's larger than the real ones. So that's another thing to look out for. Um, the next thing is just in the actual cable knit itself. So if you look on the cable knit on that one there, you can see how it's kind of chunky, it's just, all been done really well, material looks good. Um, if I move over to this one, there's too much space in between the cable knit and those straight lines. If you look at this one, it's so tightly wound together, whereas this one, there's just loads of space going through it. That's definitely not a factory defect. That's just, that's just a fake. There's not really that much here. It's just the labels. Um, I'm gonna have a quick check for some other things and I'll show you if I find them, so hold on. All right, so I'm not sure how you, how much use these barcodes are actually gonna be, because they're different. This one's from Farfetch, so obviously the tags kind of represent that um, there and there. The one, if you buy it from somewhere else, it's obviously not gonna say Farfetch, so that's not um, that helpful. The fake one came with this tag though, so I'll just show you this. Again, suggested retail, 115, yet the guy selling it at 35 pounds, doesn't make sense. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is the inside here there's some another label another two labels so this one here has just got some extra like supplier number details and stuff like that yeah so this one here has got the materials as well and then and then you've got the washing instructions on that one and the labels are completely different on the fake one again that could just be a time thing because um i don't know what the old ralph lauren labels and stuff were like so it could be that they used to look like that all right so i think we're pretty much done on this one there's not really much else to go through i'm going to do the side by side pictures as i always do on my instagram so make sure you're following there apart from that just look up for new videos i'm going to be trying to do different kind of things really if you've got any ideas or stuff you want to see make sure to leave those in the comments as always hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again on the next video peace